Hey everybody, this is Mackie from VRC and welcome to the second episode of my tutorial series on VRChat Udon. For the second episode, we're going to take a look at using Udon to create a sliding door in VRChat. So let's get started. So I've added a simple scene. Um, in this map, I just have a bunch of cubes set up and this is going to be our door here. And eventually um, at the end of the tutorial, we want to create an action like this where a door is sliding when a player interacts with this button. Um, the very first step though is we're just going to create a simple door that toggles on and off. So how do we do that? Um, we can use our, we can create an Udon program to do this. So a player is going to come and interact with this button and this is going to trigger a Udon program to turn the door on and off. So what you can do is you click on the button and we're gonna to go to add component. I'm gonna create an Udon behavior. And an Udon behavior is a component that's required, um, which is gonna attach a Udon program to your object. And I'm gonna make sure Udon graph program asset is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit new program. So this is gonna go create our program. And the next step is we wanna click on this little button here that says open Udon graph to launch, uh, launch the Udon graph editor. And this is the interface for Udon. And what we're gonna do here is the very first thing we're going to do is right click on the the canvas here we're going to click create node and uh, we want uh, basically we have this button and we want to make it interactable so the very first thing that we're going to add to this is we're going to go to events and we're going to go to event interact and when we add an um, interact event to our component basically this makes it interactable in vr so if i go hover over um, in vr if i hover over this object it's going to highlight in blue that's basically what this uh, event interact is going to do the second thing we want to do is we want to um, make this door toggle on and off. So uh, when a player interacts with this button, we want the door to open up. So let's go back to our Udon program. You click Udon graph up here. And um, we're going to have to interact with our door. So what we can do is we can take the door that you created in the left side here and just drag it into the Udon graph. And it should show up. Um, one thing, there's a small bug that uh, is in VRChat. I'm not sure if it is a bug, but uh, click on where you added the script to, so we'll go to our button, and you can see they have a public variable here, and sometimes this doesn't get set. So the door that we just dragged into the scene, we have to do this again. We have to drag door down here into the public variables, and what that's going to do is it's going to uh, let this door in the Udon graph reference the, the door object. So as I interact with the door, I want the door to maybe toggle open. So if I click this, I want this door to disappear if I click the button. So if I go back to the Udon graph, um, what we can do for door, um, for the door object, we basically want to toggle this uh, checkbox here. We want to toggle it on and off. So to do that, we can right click and um, you can quote create node. And there's actually an easier way to do this. Um, if you go to settings and click uh, search on noodle drop, just enable that. We can go and just drag a noodle here. Uh, these little lines are called noodles, by the way. So I'm going to drag a noodle out and I'm going to get a bunch of functions, uh, things that we can access on this game object. And to turn the object on and off, it, we use something called the set active function. So we're going to create the set active function. I'm going to drag it over here. And um, we're basically what we want to turn it off. So the value is not going to be checked. And what we want to do is when we interact, we're going to draw another noodle from the interact event. It's going to trigger this set active function. And what this is going to do is it's going to turn the door off. So if we go back to our scene, we can quickly test this. Um, so I'm going to go to the VRChat SDK panel and I'm just going to force non VR mode and test the map. So let's go ahead and test. So if we launch our game and we look around, so I'm going to turn around. You should see that the button is now uh, VR chat actually highlights it so you can see a use function. So I'm going to click on it and use it. And there you go. Um, you've opened the door. But uh, that's kind of the first step, because if you click on it again, um, we want the door to basically toggle on and off. Um, so we have to fix our script in order to do that. So let's exit out. OK, so we're going to go up to Udon graph again. And what we want to do is uh, if the door is active, we want to turn the door off if the door is already off, we want to turn it back on. So we want to kind of toggle uh, the visibility of the object. But in order to do that, we have to check what the current value of like, is the door active or not? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove this noodle here. And we're going to drop a new noodle um, from door. 
And what we're going to do is we're, it's, it's going to be called get active self. And get active self is going to tell us whether or not the door is active. It's going to return true or false, depending on if the, the object's visible or not. And what we want to do uh, with this Boolean, we want to draw another noodle here. And we basically want to flip the value. So if it's the value is true, we want it to be false. If the value is false, we want it to be true. So we can go and drag this Boolean, um, this uh, uh, true false value, drag a noodle here. And we're going to use this fancy function called unary negation. Unary negation is just a fancy way to say, give me the opposite value. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. And this is going to give us the opposite value of uh, the current state, like if the door is visible or not. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our set active. We're going to draw another noodle up here into the set active function. So this program that we've just created, um, we can go kind of organize it a little bit. I like my programs to be kind of neat. Um, what this is doing is it's saying when I interact, I'm going to call set active and the value that we're going to set the door to is going to be the, you know, we're going to check if it's active. If it's active, we're going to return the opposite value of active, which is false. And that's going to toggle the door on and off when we interact with it. Okay. So there's one last thing we need to do before we launch the game. And you can see that set active takes an instance and, uh, it's going to need the instance of the door. So. Uh, we can go ahead and drag uh, this variable. We already dragged in door, but we can drag door down here. And this is going to be the instance of our door. We can have multiple instances of the door in our little Udon program. Um, but we want to take this door and we want to actually set this game object to the instance that this, act, this function's acting on. So we should be able to go launch the game now and it should uh, work. So we'll go ahead and jump in. And you can see when I interact with the door, it turns it off. If the door is already on, if the door is off, it'll turn it on. So we've basically created a toggle to turn the door on and off. So this is not looking that great. I mean, we're just turning an object on and off. Um, then the next step we want to take a look at is animation. So we want to make this door slide open and closed. Okay, so next up, we're going to want to create an animation for our door. And we're going to want to make the door open and close. Uh, we can do this by adding a animation to the object. So uh, make sure the door is selected. Go ahead over to add component and type animator. Uh, we're going to add an animator to our door. And then after that, we're going to go over to this animations tab here in the uh, bottom left. We're going to go ahead and click that. And there's going to be two animations that we're going to create. One is going to be uh, door open and one is going to be door closed. Uh, first one we'll, we'll create will just be door closed. So I'll go ahead and create the animation. Um, we'll call this uh, door closed, save it. And uh, there's not really going to be anything uh, in this animation. We're really just going to uh, go, ahead, go over to add property, uh, go to transform and go to position. And it's just going to be a single keyframe. We don't need two keyframes um, in VR chat. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And this one keyframe, this is the door closed animation. So it's just closed. We're going to go over here. We're going to create another clip. And we're going to call the other clip door open. And again, we're going to go to add property, go to transform position. Again, we only need one keyframe and the open position. We're going to want to hit record because we're going to be changing it. And we're going to want the door to slide, let's say left. And our let's just say that's what it looks like when it's open. We can uncheck the record button and that'll save our animation. And you can go here to the preview menu and click door closed. And now you can see that uh, the two animations here, uh, you can you can look at them in the preview thing here. So after we create that, uh, after we create the animations, what we want to do is we want to the side menu here, and we're going to want to double click on the door. And when we double click on the door, it's going to open up the animation editor. And we're going to see our two animations in here that we just created, door open and door closed. Um, to set up this sort of animation um, for the first state, um, our door is closed. Um, but if we're going to want to create an animation, we're going to want to go from door closed to door open. So how we do this, we can right click on door closed. We can make a transition to door open. And uh, from door open, we want to transition to door closed. Um, but we need some sort of value to toggle between door closed and door open. So I'm going to go up to parameters here and I'm going to create a new parameter and we're just going to call this bool. 
And this bool is going to be called is open. And by default, uh, the value is just going to be false, so it's not going to be checked. So if we go back to our transitions here, so going from door close to door open, there's a condition that um, if the if it is open, if is open is true, we want to transition to door open. Uh, going from door open, door close, we're going to add again, we're going to add a condition here. We're going to go is open. And if is open is false, we want to transition the door animation from open to closed. The second thing we want to do is we want to go over here and we want to uncheck has exit time. Um, this just setting is just not needed um, for us, so we're going to uncheck that. And then what we can do is we can go back to our scene and we can actually, we don't have to launch uh, VR chat to, to actually test this animation. We can click on the little play button here in the top. So I'm going to hit that. And you're going to want to go over here and click on scene. And that's going to get us back to our scene view. But you're going to want to drag this animator tab out. So we're going to just drag it over to the right side. And we're going to be able to test the animation. So in the scene view, I'm going to check this box and you're going to see that the animation is going to open and close. So if it's checked, the door is going to open. If it's unchecked, then the animation is going to close. So let's go ahead and go back to our edit mode. So I'm going to get a play mode. And then we're going to go ahead and drag our animator back because we don't need it anymore. And I'll jump back to the scene view. So we're going to go back to the button that we created that we added the Udon script to. And we're just going to go ahead and just remove the component. And we're going to go ahead and create a brand new component on the button. And we're going to call it an, another Udon behavior. We'll attach another script and we'll go ahead and hit new program. And we'll go ahead and open up the Udon graph again. So again, we're going to want to add the event to interact event to make the object interactable. And we're going to want to get a reference to the animator we just created. So we're going to go click on our door and we're going to drag in in Udon. We can drag in components. So I'm going to go drag in the animator here and you're going to see it's going to have a variable called animator. And we're going to want to know, we're, first of all, we're going to want to get the value of that is open uh, value we created. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this noodle out of the animator and I'm going to call a function called get bool uh, animator .get bool. And I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to select string and we're going to want to get the value of is open. So we're going to say, what's the value of the parameter that we added? And we're going to use that trick that we did in the earlier in the video. We're going to take the bool and we're actually going to get the opposite of the value because we're, that's what we want to set the new value to. So we're going to go unary negation and this is going to give us the opposite value to the current value. And from here, uh, we're going to want to get another reference of the door. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the door animation down here. And we're going to want to draw another noodle. And this noodle is going to call something called set bool. So the set bool function is going to set that parameter we created. And I'm going to go again string and I'm going to give it the name is open. And the value that we're going to want to set it to um, is going to be the opposite of its value. So again, I'm going to drag the bool here into the value here. And our program's almost complete. Um, on interact, we're going to want to call this set bool function. So this is an Udon program that's going to play the animation. It's going to get the current value of is open. It's going to take the, the negation of it. It's going to give us the opposite value. And we're going to call set bool. So we're going to basically flip it. We're going to toggle the value on and off. So before we test our program, um, again, uh, the bug where Objects don't get set properly when they get dragged in. We have to go down to the uh, make sure the button selected. Go down to public variables, and you'll see that like door is set to none. So just go ahead and click here, and make sure the door is selected. And now everything should work as expected. So let's go ho go over, open up the VR Chat SDK control panel, uh, go to Builder, and let's launch the client and see what happens. So once we're in game, we should be able to interact with this button, and lo and behold, it works. So it toggles the animation on and off. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, thanks for watching, and if you're liking the content I'm making, please go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will continue to make more tutorials. Thanks!